Hi, my name is Jonathan. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, VFDs and applying them at high altitudes. So you're always going to want to check with the VFD uh, manufacturer that you're using, but typically high altitude means anything above 1,000 meters. That's when you start to take uh, special precautions. Um, there's basically two challenges that you encounter uh, at high altitudes. The first is regarding cooling and then the second is uh, the creepage and clearance distances that are built into the, uh, into the design of the drive. So the first challenge that we talked about is there's a reduced cooling capability um, at high altitude, so the air is thinner. Uh, with that, there's less molecules um, in a given volume of air, and so uh, drives will not cool, air-cooled drives will not cool as efficiently, as effectively um, as when they're at sea level. So there's a couple different things you can do uh, to combat that. The first thing is you're going to want to optimize uh, both the application and the drive parameters uh, in a way that's going to reduce the current um, utilization and the heating. The second thing you're going to uh, look at doing uh, is going to be derating the drive. So typically what that looks like is a straight percentage above uh, 1,000 meters. Uh, for example, every 100 meters uh, is going to be 1% or something. Again, you're going to want to check the, uh, the manufacturer, the VFD, to see exactly what it is. Oftentimes what that means is you're going to have to oversize the drive or maybe move into the next frame size up to handle the whatever current you need. Um, the third thing uh, you can look at doing would be to use an air conditioning unit in the cabinet. Uh, one that's going to be sized in a way that, uh, that you can meet the cooling requirements for, for the drive. And then finally, um, another option would be to use a different uh, cooling medium altogether. Uh, for example, we've had customers use our liquid cool drives um, for high altitude applications. So the second challenge that you'll encounter uh, is related to the creepage and clearance distances. And those are going to be the distances between the traces on the PCB board and those distances between the traces are going to be an in insulation against arcing between the traces and so that's going to be uh, very critical for any power electronics um, that has uh, high voltage involved. Uh, at the high altitudes um, the dielectric constant changes and so the insulation of that distance is not as good at high altitudes as it is at sea level. So there's a couple things that you can do uh, to address it and the first thing would be to increase the distance between the traces but that's not really practical. There's always a pressure to reduce size uh, with commercial drives and so oftentimes you're trying to get more power out of a smaller size. So ultimately what ends up happening is you have to pressurize the cabinet if it gets too high. So you'll want to look at the operating manual for the particular VFD you're using but typically you're going to see a, a max altitude that it's good or usable to before you need to pressurize the cabinet. Uh, if you want more information, you can contact us at kbamerica.com.